Hi, this video will discuss the welfare impacts of having a monopolist produce an item. So a monopolist produces less than the competitive market. Because the monopolist's goal is to maximize profit and not to maximize society's welfare, along the way of maximizing profits, the monopolist leaves a deadweight loss. Well, this video will show you where to find the deadweight loss on a graph. So first, let's define what welfare is. We measure welfare by using total surplus. And the total surplus shrinks when a monopolist chooses the output compared to a competitive industry. So in competition, if you recall, maximizes total surplus or welfare because in competitive markets, price will equal marginal cost. Not so for a monopolist. For a monopolist, MR equals MC but price is higher than MR. So this monopolist will choose a price that is above the MC. So this means that consumers will buy less than that what they would under a competitive level. And as a result, we have a deadweight loss to society. So a common question that I expect my students to be able to answer when we talk about welfare effects of monopolies is, can they identify the deadweight loss region when a monopolist chooses the output? And here's a graph of the monopoly. So the monopoly has a demand curve, an MR curve that's twice as steep, and an MC curve that goes up here, in this case, from the origin. So the first way to solve this question, the first step, is to first choose the profit maximizing output and price for the monopolist. So how does the monopolist maximize its price, maximize its profit? Where MR equals MC, right here go down and that's going to be an output of six. That's the output. What's the price? Go up to the demand curve and go over. So here's the price 18. So let's identify all of the surplus areas for this monopolist and then we will talk about where the deadweight loss is. So where's the consumer surplus region? Well the price is 18 and that's the area below the demand below the demand and above the price. So it's this gr blue triangle is consumer surplus. Where's the producer surplus? This one is going to be below the price of 18 and above the MC curve, which is going up from the origin, that part of the MC curve. And we're only making six units, so that's where the output stops. So producer surplus is all this area sandwiched between our 18 price and above MC. So it's this green area. So if you were to calculate this number, if, if, it were at, if you were asked to find this number, you do it in two steps. You'd find the area of this triangle here. Okay, that's the first part of producer surplus. And the second part of producer surplus is this area, this rectangle here. How do you find the area of a triangle? A of a triangle is one half base times height. How do you find the um, area of a rectangle? That's simply base times height. So in this example, the triangle for the Prusa surplus is going to be one half, height is 12, base is 6. 6. So half of 12 is 6 times 6 is 36 is that part of this triangle. What about this rectangle? That's this distance here. Six is the height, six is the base, and so that's 36. So 36, 36, 72 is our producer surplus region. Likewise, consumer surplus area, triangle, one half, yes. Height is going to be times six, base is six. So that's 18 is our consumer surplus. Now, where is the dead weight loss? Well, if you had a competitive firm, they would produce where MR, MR and demand are the same, where that demand hits the MC curve right here. So a competitive industry would produce two units more. They'd produce eight. What would the price be? Well, where this MC hits the demand curve, the price would be 16. So for a competitive market, all this region above 16 would be consumer surplus. All the region below 16 above MC would be the producer surplus. You add those two regions up and it's everywhere shaded between blue and red. That's a competitive market. A competitive market produces more. 
a competitive market prices their last unit where MC equals but someone's willing to pay their demand. That's not the case for this monopolist. We have people who are willing to pay more than the marginal cost of the good being made. So where is the deadweight loss? It's this area here in gray. And that area would be our deadweight loss. Again, it's a triangle, one half base times height. And so the height of this triangle is from 12 to 18. The height of that triangle is six. The base of that triangle is two. So half of two is one times six is six is a dead weight loss for this monopolist. So monopolies in some, they create a dead weight loss, which is not good for society. We would prefer there be a competitive market instead of a monopoly. Monopoly's goal is to maximize profit and they get a larger producer surplus than we would have under a competitive industry. But the downside is this dead weight loss is created.